on guys it's tony here from Rolda details so today we are here at the base here in chicago and we came here for a ppf training but at the same time we drove from richmond virginia all the way here to uh chicago illinois and our car is full of bugs so we're gonna try to take care of that issue right here before um you know the bugs start aging into the paint of our car so but anyways we are here at the base and i want to kind of show you guys how nice it is to detail your car in here so let's go All right guys, so we are here with Kim and since this is my first time here at the, you know, at the base and I don't know exactly what to do, she's going to explain us exactly what we need to do. So normally with a base rental, you get the pressure washer, foam cannon, ego blower, vacuum cleaners, washelia mat holders, uh, wash rinse and wheel buckets. Okay. But you would normally bring whatever product you want to use or towels you want to use, or you can shop in our retail store. Okay. But if there's something that you're having a little bit of a hard time with, water spots or your wheel cleaner just isn't working the way that it should okay. or that you need it to, we have a array of we have an array of different products that you can try out or that we can help guide you into a different product so that you're getting the best clean that you possibly can. So and can you show us as well like if they are in here mm -hmm. in the bay? Uh, where they need to go to get the products. They want to purchase products. Yeah, if you so guys, if you, if you wanna walk us through. Yeah, we would just go right up to our retail store. That's normally where you would come in uh, and we will set you up in a booking or if you're picking up an order. Here at Romeoville, we have the option of picking up an online purchase. Okay. So that's a really neat thing compared to some of the other locations. But this is the retail store. Um, everything in here is stuff that's all on our website, but this is only part of the stuff that our website features. Okay. So we have some of our most popular products here or some stuff that seems like more people are coming into the store looking for. So different packs of towels. Uh, we just did a class with Gion, so we have a bunch of their products highlighted right now. Okay. And. Yeah, we just have an array of different items here. So That's amazing. Really nice. So once again, we're gonna be purchasing some stuff. But so right now we don't, like I said, we don't bring anything. So we're gonna need a lot of stuff <laughs> in order to get done our vehicle. We have a lot of bugs. So we're gonna try to get some or pick some bug remover. But thank you, I really appreciate your help for explaining us. And guys, if you guys want to save some money, always you guys can go online and type Rolda10 in order to save 10% on anything that you guys are gonna purchase from the base. All right, let's keep going. All right guys, so I'm here with Ivan and we're gonna start to detail our BMW. The lady, she's playing us really good uh, what we have to do and everything, how to use the pressure washer, how to, how many buckets we have, we have three of them and everything. So let me show you guys around. Ivan is gonna walk us around and show us everything that we have. So, all right Ivan, so show us what we got going on over here. It looks like we got- so Over here we got our pressure washer. Pressure. And then what we else? got our foam cannon. What else? We have a nice uh, place over here if we want to wash, you know, our wash mats, brushes, whatever. Trash can, we have the ionized water. That's gonna be for the last rinse. Uh, mainly whenever you want to, um, you know, doing the last rinse, all you have to do is open up this valve right here, these two, and then you're gonna have the ionized water, but just to do the rims and stuff like that, we keep it like this, so that way it's gonna be tap water, regular tap water. Over here we have our bucket filler. Uh, this one here, you can just, uh, you know, turn it on, you know, fill it up to wherever you need to uh, fill it up. And for us, it's gonna be, good at that point and also over here we have some brushes that we're going to be using we're going to be throwing some uh, soap right there stuff like that she provided us some of the purest um alkaline snow foam we're going to be using this one here trying it out that's new for us we have some uh, bug remover which we're going to need a lot of that stuff <laughs> since we have our car full of bugs and this one here is just uh, something extra, you know, for our, this is a wheel cleaner, you know, 
an iron remover, some iron purist as well. We have three flat outs, which this is the way I like to wash cars. I like to use four of these ones in order to, you know, take care of the entire vehicle. And also we have a drying towel. We have the Eagle blower somewhere over here as well, which I can see it somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's over there. But anyways, we have also over here, these uh, floor mats uh, holders. You can just throw your floor mat in there. You can throw it right here and be able to wash. So right here is gonna explain you exactly how you can do it. So pretty nice. Uh, Ivan is gonna grab one of the floor mats. Like that. It's pretty nice. Oh, and you can also spin it that way. That's kind of cool. <laughs> well, anyways, let's uh, enough talking. Let's get to work. Let's do it. Otherwise, we're gonna be here forever. So, and we don't want that. So, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> So we're gonna be using purest uh, wheel cleaner and iron remover since this is a BMW. This because they normally will accumulate a lot of dust, brake dust. So there you go. Now we're gonna something that I like to do is after I apply that, I'm gonna let it sit, let the product do some of the work. And then after that, I'm gonna start agitating the wheel. And also I like to do a little bit of foam, just to, you know, that way whenever I'm using this, the, you know, the product is not gonna sling on me. And now you guys can see even better how the thing is reacting on the brake dust. So let's agitate a little bit. I like to start from the top. Going nuts. That. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we have a ton of bugs in this vehicle. We're gonna be using the bug remover from G-Technic. This is the uh, WA V2 version two, I believe it's called, something like that. But anyways, um, we're gonna see what this thing does on, ooh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but immediately start reacting or dissolving all the bags. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Pretty strong product. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? So, guys so for our final rinse all we have to do is switch these two valves right here and now we got the ionized water so Ivan is gonna start rinsing So this was pretty simple and this is some of the products that we use for the exterior. We use uh, C2B3 just to add some protection. We This car is, is being ceramic coated and that's why you guys saw how easy it was to dry the vehicle with the uh, with the blower. And we use bug remover. You guys saw that this, this product is really good, super strong. Tire dressing for um, Viros. Viros um, I like the smell uh, and it looks pretty shiny. It looks pretty good. 
uh, we're gonna see how long it's gonna last. Uh, we use this uh, applicator, which this is the first time me using it. And for, you know, soap, we did use the purest alkaline snow foam. Uh, and we use the IK, uh, IK um, foamer. So really nice. Um, we are almost done. We're just gonna do like a quick interior um, detail, nothing crazy. Uh, and we're gonna start shopping some stuff because we are looking to get some stuff for the PPF. So I'm gonna bring you guys as well to the warehouse. Hopefully Jesus can give us a walk around to the warehouse, so let's continue. All right, so Jesus is gonna bring us to the warehouse. Hello, hello. welcome to the yes. Magic Place of Wonders. The famous Jesus. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have your optical film here. Okay. Uh, so pick your sizes. We have 60 by 50s, 36 by 50s, 30 by 50s, and 24 by 50s. We do have matte black, gloss black, and matte available as well. Okay. Uh, a little bit low on inventory. It actually sold really well. We didn't <laughs> order a ton because I didn't think it was going to sell super crazy, but okay. it's actually moved really well. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. we're going to get some of it as well. We might going to get some, uh, what, 40 inches or so? You for sure want a 60 by 50. 60 I would by, get that for I, sure. I already got one, one of those. Probably 36s. Totally yeah, this is Car Spies Warehouse. This is where our uh, pickers and packers all work out of. So the, the system that we use here, is when an order comes through, uh, it comes to a computer. Okay. From the computer, they print it over here. Our packer will pull it out. It'll look like something like this. Okay. This then gets put in the bin. And then from the bin, they'll go grab what they need. They'll usually leave the bins here. If it's just one or two things, maybe they'll take it with them. Okay. <clears throat> from this bin, the person who's packing it knows that that bin is ready. So they'll grab the bin, they'll bring it over here. We have two. They'll grab the correct size box, they'll fill it with paper, they'll tape it up, weigh it, packing slip, print it, and then it sits right here, ready for pickup from UPS, FedEx, DHL, or uh, USPS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the, the picking and packing process. Um, <clears throat> we carry a lot of different brands, as you guys can see. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll go this way, probably just to make a little more space. So everything's kind of divided into different sections. All the pressure washing stuff is here. All the bucket stuff is there. Rag company and auto fiber come down. Gion has its own special place over here because we ran out of space, so it's here now. <laughs> <laughs> All of our Lake Country pads are right here. So you guys can tell we do carry a pretty good amount of them. Uh, I think the only thing we don't really carry is like the rotary stuff. We don't really sell out of the rotary pads, so that's one thing we don't carry. Okay. We have our part of our work stuff section. We do have another one that's there. Purist has its own section over here. Probably my new favorite brand that, that we're carrying now is uh, Purist. A lot of really, really, really heavy hitting stuff. Mm -hmm. um, things that I think are the best in their class. I think everything's good. I think two or three things are like the best I've found. So that's okay. stuff I'm really excited about. Same with, you know, Detective Night Carpro and all that. Uh, for the PPF stuff, we will actually run upstairs. So go ahead and go up first. Okay. okay. So if you guys go straight ahead, you'll run through our DIY detail section, our Dr. Beasley section and our merch section. So if you guys actually wanted to grab any shirts, hats, and hoodies, anything like that, they're all gonna be right here to your right. All right. Couple different sizes. This is my favorite. It's the Chicago Skyline camo hoodie. Mm -hmm. I need to lose some weight, but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is my favorite one. But yeah, Chicago to Pros, Course Wise Warehouse, the beard. We got some of the Miata stuff still here. Uh, same with the classic Course Wise Warehouse logo. Mm -hmm. And some hands up here. So that's all there. Scan grip, scan grip. We sell a lot of Shine Supply. Shine Supply is definitely one of the yeah. companies that, you know, being like a California native, I, I like Jeremy a lot and I like what he's done. So we do sell a lot of it. Uh, if we go down this way, it's a little tight. It's a little complicated. Walk with me through it. <laughs> <laughs> so Buff and Shine. AM details. Shout out to Alan. Yep. Hides rust stopper. Gotta love the, the rust stopper stuff. Tint slime, which I think from what I heard, some of this is actually getting discontinued. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, okay. Sonex, which has been kind of getting replaced by Alaska a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, set out the Jace. Tornadors, Detail Factory, McGuire's pads, McGuire's sanding stuff. A lot of turtle wax, Chicago native, our own brand. And then we get to the film stuff a little bit. So All we got right. Vonix from Brazil over here. Yep. 
I you guys haven't tried Vonix those. Blend, love Vonix Blend. I love it Good too. stuff. Yep. Mostly tinning stuff. Then we get into some more PPF specific stuff. We have some hard cards there. We have different tucking tools from Yellow, right? These are super popular too, actual tucking tools. Mm -hmm. Some tweezers. The most overrated blade sniper in the world, don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> that thing stole my money. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I don't know where the optical stuff is now because they moved it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's downstairs. Let's go find it. All right, let's find it. Yeah. Microfiber Madness. Mint on the stick. You can't go wrong with this if you're a mobile guy, if you're working on a lot of trucks. Or not mobile, sorry. Mobile detailer if you're working on a lot oh, of trucks. Oh, I just saw a video that Jason was talking about. Yes. Uh, but I haven't seen the final video. Did okay. he like it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So this is... Okay, so he and most detailers, including myself, don't like wash mitts on sticks, mm -hmm. right? There's a big stigma that they're just going to scratch. And for the most part, I mean, that's true, right? A lot of them kind of just suck. Mm -hmm. This came out, I, it's been a little while now. I don't think it's been quite two years, but it's been a little bit, a little bit. Um, I tried it because we used to work on a lot of farm trucks. Okay. And they were all lifted like six, eight inches. And even for me, where I'm pretty tall, I couldn't reach the top of it. So yeah. we actually were using this for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I found it pretty good. The, the early version of it had a plastic clip. Uh, that if you knocked it over, it would break. So I did break, <laughs> did break two myself. Yeah. But supposedly the, the new version did get changed. Uh, from what I saw in Jason's video, it is different. But overall, I think Auto Fiber makes really quality stuff. Yeah, and, exactly. and they're they're good at problem solving. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like yeah. I think I, I like problem solving people a lot. I think Auto Fiber is a problem solving brand. Correct. Right. Yeah. The savers, the quadrant towel, the scrub ninjas, those are all problem solvers. Yeah. You know, and I think this falls right in line with everything else that they do. So, you know, shout mm -hmm. out to Ian. He's doing a, a fantastic job. Yep. Yeah. I think they do really well, but yeah, I think uh, I should have one open up, opened up here somewhere. We can we can play around with it. If not, we'll open one up for you so you can see it. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, generic brushes. We will use SM Arnold, just kind of the more generic stuff. You know, easy details, carpet brushes, all the stuff you've seen. Have you played with guys? guys. You did, right? Because uh, you were doing the video I, with them. Yeah, I did a video with uh, Ram. Yeah. Uh, I did try, you know, his stuff is pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, I just got this one here, uh, which we're going to be trying out, nice. you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, really good. good very stuff. easy to use. Yeah, very very I easy. I haven't to use. used it, but once yeah. again, I'm gonna try. <laughs> yeah, we got to try it back in uh, February on uh, Alex from Legit Street Cars. This car. <coughs> uh, any, like, I'm not a leather repair guy. I've never done it before. I had no experience with it, and I found it really really easy. So yeah. Yeah. shout out to Ram. He's done a very good job at. Uh, I like the branding and just the product itself yeah. working really well. Exactly. Yeah, we got Stoners. Stoner. Stoners Rain plus glass ceramic. Yeah. I like it a lot actually. My favorite is a Stunner Train Shine. Yeah. That's my go-to for any exterior. Dude, if they, I even use it for tire shine. They changed <laughs> They changed my mind when they came out here about uh, their trim products. Because I just thought it was kind of gimmicky. I'm not even going to lie. Like just. <laughs> and I, I think it's just because you see this in, you know, AutoZone and Walmart. Yeah, exactly. And all that. So, like, in yeah. my head, like, I know the Invisible Glass worked great. I know Terminator worked great. I know Zenit worked great. Like, I'd used all that stuff before. But I thought the trim stuff was going to be, like, you know, like, um the back to black or something you know what i'm talking about like yeah. it just it's on there for a couple of days and it just goes away yeah. but they they did uh some panels when they were here for the creator event those panels still look good yeah and it's been they were some bit almost six months yeah. now you yeah. know so that stuff is awesome nice. got Oberk, over reliable yeah thing wrong best tire cleaner on the market okay. but you know again specific tire cleaner spray on scrub rinse off I think this is great. I just don't like the sprayers they use. They don't work very well. Okay. We just replace the sprayer, so. Yeah, it makes it easy. Yeah. yeah. We can always put it, like, put it on a pump sprayer. Yeah, that's a good way to do it, too. Yep. Yeah. What's your favorite tire cleaner? Tire cleaner. You're not are you like an APC it. guy? Hey, what are you? I use for tires. Uh huh. It's super clean. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. Okay. Yep. Super clean. Okay. For interiors, I use a lot of um, my wires APC. Yep. I keep it simple. Yep. So, uh, root pest stuff, good old pads, O&R, mm -hmm. old reliable, can't go wrong with O&R, yep. right? Been around forever. Yep. We have the Tech 582, it's a super popular seller for us. My wires. Old reliable, can't go wrong with wires, right? Yeah. That's it, I don't have anything else to say. All right. <laughs> it's big We're wires. Back to... <laughs> um, all right, let me figure out where these guys are hiding my hats. <laughs> <laughs> so and these... this is what we was looking for. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I think we did sell them all, Tony, so I might have to ship you one. Okay, but we have okay. our three-gallon optical pressurized tanks. So a custom wrap on them. It's 
corny tag with the fittings. Open that up. And what's oh, a blue hose? So we saw my blue hose or a black hose. The ones okay. you guys use in the class were all black hoses. Mm -hmm. We do have the blue option, like someone like Tim from the class. His colors are blue, green, and white. The blue probably fits his branding a little better. Yep. For us, Optical, I think, is a very precise, clean yeah. kind of brand. So the, op the black fits in a little bit better with what we do there. Do you guys want a blue hose or a black hose? What do you want? Huh? Mm -hmm. If you want a blue hose, you could probably take one of these home today. All right, let me check inventory, but I think you could take one home today. Okay. Right. Um, so I'm missing some optical hats, and I don't know where they're at. But we we have enough. Like I think we got like a hundred of them. So okay. We've only sold like thirty or forty. I'm trying to think, where would they be at? You know what? All right. So we're gonna start picking up some stuff, guys. Um, and I think that's gonna be it on this video. Thank you, Jesus, yeah. for Thank sharing you. with us, yeah. showing us the warehouse. So pretty excited. I love this place, as you guys know. <laughs> yeah. I love to be able to wash our car, you know, because it was full of bugs. Yeah, I saw the video of your story. Things. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm a, I was pretty worried about those. So, but anyways, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to purchase anything, once again, from Car Supplies Warehouse, make sure to use Roll.10 in order to save 10%. So, all right, guys. Until the next time. Like, share, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next one. Adios. Good <laughs> There you go.